In 1596, the Mevlevi dervishes inaugurated the Zawiya Sadiya, the first site in Egypt, in the abandoned madrasa of Sunkur Sadi at the foot of the Cairo citadel. The Sama, the ecstatic ritual of the Mevlevi, took place in the West E1 of the Madrasa, adjacent to the mausoleum, reclaimed by the dervishes. The mausoleum, built by Sunkur Saadi, though known as that of Hassan Sadaka, is a monument of particular importance due to the external architectural proportions, the balance of the internal spaces, and lastly, the refinement of the decorations in an unusual text of the internal inscriptions. In the central tondo of the dome, there is a verse from the Quran. However, the other internal inscriptions are taken from tales in Al-Haridi's Makamat. The date, reported in numbers rather than letters, is quite unique. Sunkur Saadi was not buried in his mausoleum. In fact, he had to leave Egypt due to disagreements with the Emir Kusun, owner of the neighboring palace. A few years later, Hassan Sadaka was buried in the mausoleum, from whom the monument took its name. The archaeological investigations unearthed the remains of the marble sarcophagus of Sunkur Saadi. Reassembled and completed in its missing parts, it was restored to its original position in the center of the mausoleum. The sarcophagus of Hassan Sadaka was also restored, with its decorations painted on the wood back in view. Unfortunately, the inscription of the dedication was removed the night of September 2, 2011, and was never recovered. The internal space of the mausoleum is proportioned in height by two bands of inscriptions, one at three meters from the visitor's view and the other at the height of the mukurnas that connect the base square to the high drum of the dome, illuminated by eight windows. The inscriptions were found largely obscured by coarse whitewashing. The gradual removal of the superimposed layers constituted, for students and craftsmen, an actual manual training and an awareness of the methods of recovery and preservation of the decoration's original configuration. Particular attention was paid to cleaning the decorations so as to highlight the construction traces and the first patinations of the time. In some cases, the stuccos were expelled from the support due to the action of the salts activated in the wall by the rising damp. The stuccos, which were gradually adapted to the support, were clean and integrated for the missing parts. The two bands of inscriptions had already been restored by the Comité in 1915-19 under the direction of the architect Achille Patricolo who respected with simple empty frames the partial absence of the missing inscriptions. The rising damp had, even back then, damaged the lower band of the inscriptions and, particularly, the entire one on the north side was lost. 
It was therefore necessary to reactivate the volumetric aspect of the inscriptions for the visual recovery of the spatial proportions of the mausoleum. Three different configurations of the inscriptions and their integrations were selected in order to define these essential architectural elements. The original letters still present were cleaned up and consolidated. The letters, or the missing parts, which were documented by historical images, were reproduced to integrate the present text, though distinctly a few millimeters lower than the original parts. The missing inscriptions, with no documented image, though documented through literary text, were created in negative, in counter-relief, carved into the bottom surface of the decorative band. The letters thus produced were surrounded by a deeper groove. Due to the optical effect, the shadow of the groove brings out the letter that, even if hollowed, gives body to the entire inscription. This way, the text is legible, despite the different plastic nature of the letters that shape the band in its decorative articulation. Lastly, the band, in the volumetric wholeness, completes the recovery of the internal architectural proportions of the mausoleum. The exterior of the dome is decorated with Quranic text. The inscriptions, in high thickness relief, were integrated with letters of lower thickness, and the reconstructed inscriptions were left with simplified background decorations. The band appears thinned down in these parts, though with sufficient volumetric continuity to recover its visual function in the aesthetic unity of the dome. The same criterion of differentiated integration was respected in the completion of the missing parts of the medallions and other external decorations of the dome. The windows were restored, when possible, or duplicated. Many windows had already been duplicated in the 1915 to 18 restorations. Specific methacrylate panels were applied to the external grids to protect the internal stucco windows from atmospheric agents. The walls of the mausoleum and the madrasa, which are up to three meters thick, had rising damp for over seven meters in height. A particular rehabilitation intervention was carried out by inserting a physical barrier in PVC in the walls at floor level by cutting the entire thickness of the wall. On the outside, the original stone facade was preserved, avoiding replacements. The cleaning of the black crusts on the façade of the mausoleum was done in order to preserve the patina of the original identified through the stratigraphic sections. In 
In the damaged stone blocks, various differentiated and circumscribed additions were made with the use of lime mortars. From a didactic point of view, it is a useful exercise for the composition of mortars, their color, and the particular attention needed in applying them. The grouting has the function of absorbing the salts that evacuate with the evaporation of the moisture present in the walls. They will subsequently be eliminated and, finally, placed afresh on the newly dried out walls. The internal plasters of both the mausoleum and the Iwan were also designed to absorb the salts and then ultimately reconstructed as a final cycle of the monument's restoration. On January 13, 2008, under the auspices of the Egyptian Minister for Internal Cooperation, His Excellency Faiza Abu Naga, with the participation of the President of the Foreign Affairs Commission of the Italian Senate, Lamberto Dini, the Senator for Life, Giulio Andreotti, and the Ambassador of Italy, Claudio Pacifico, the restored mausoleum of Sunkur Saadi, with the annexed buildings, was inaugurated in the presence of the authorities of the Supreme Council of Antiquities. <laughs>